And welcome back everyone, welcome back to the conclusion, I think, of Siberia. Last time we escaped the clutches of that idiotic madman that wanted to blow us and everything to bits by placing fucking bombs everywhere, what an idiot. Am I right? And we're back in Arlbad. And Mrs. Helena is safe. And James probably hates us. But never mind, eh, he's gonna forgive us. Let's talk to Oscar. Actually, we have to wind the train, since we're here. Whoa. Did the season just change? Everything is icy. Like, really icy. Was the snow here before? What the hell? Was it gone for, like, months? Oscar? Oscar! Oh my god, you you went outside! I can't believe this! What about the vicious salt wind? Hey, dude. You okay, Oscar? Still in one piece? Humor is a concept outside the scope of my functionality, Kate Walker. You should know that by now. Oscar, come on, quit crabbing. We got out of that dingy city safe and sound, didn't we? And even with a certain style, I might add. Style is the right word. Hey, what are you doing on the platform? That's not like you. I wanted to take a little air and dust away the cobwebs from my joints. This salt wind is terrible, though. I think it would be wiser to return to our nice, warm train. Get a life, Oscar. Get a life, Oscar. Adorable. But I do appreciate you actually exiting the train for once. Oscar, can we get going now? Really, Kate Walker? First, we have to wind up the train's mechanism. Of course. What was I thinking of? Right away, I'm on the case. Oscar, you can do it yourself, you know. It's right there. But fine. See, I'll, be I'll be waiting for you, Kate. Seriously, you could just go there and wind it. I can teach you. It's really not that hard. That's what she said. Uh, and now the lever? And presto! Oscar, you might want to look. Maybe you can learn something. Never mind. Ah, we're getting some music. We're doing something right. Can we go now, Oscar? Are you ready? Hello, Oscar. Hello, Kate Walker. Hello. You know something, Oscar? Despite all our mishaps, and your grating personality, I think I'm gonna miss you. Why? Are you leaving us, Kate Walker? Yes. When I found Hans Varlberg, I'm going to have to go home to New York. That's your decision, Kate Walker? We'll see about that. You have nothing to return to, Kate. I mean, your fiancé is kind of, you know, a bastard, and Olivia is, uh, you know... Probably gonna hook up with Dan. Your mom's okay, but she, she'll manage. You're way better off in this kind of life, Kate. Way better off. Oscar, the wind has dropped. Maybe you can come with me. Kate Walker, a high-precision mechanism like this. Okay, okay, but you can stay in the hotel, you know. You know, Oscar, sometimes I think we'll never find Hans Varlberg. You have manifested a certain spunk and perseverance, Kate Walker. Please do not be discouraged. It's possible you are closer to your initial target than you currently imagine. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. It doesn't feel that way, though. I hope the train wasn't damaged in the explosion. Do not worry, Kate Walker. I checked that everything was in order. You really do think of everything, Oscar. I do not think of water sports, Kate Walker. Ah, that's... Very precise, actually. <laughs> it's good that you don't think of water sports. The weather has changed since my last visit. The wind has dropped, and it has started snowing a little. I was not fortunate enough to accompany you on your first visit, Kate Walker. You abandoned me to who knows what horrible fate in that creepy factory. Oscar, do you know something? You're changing. You might not notice, but you are. Change is outside the scope of my functionality, Kate Walker. I don't know, he is definitely, you know, growing more affectionate, and he's developing his personality. He is one wonder of technology, isn't he? 
Oscar, I think everything's ready. We can go now. Are you sitting comfortably? Then we can start the engine and get going. I'll be circulating shortly to punch your ticket. Of course. <sighs> Give me a break, Oscar. Miss Walker! Miss Walker! Wait, wait! Don't go yet! What now? Mr. Felix, what's the matter now? Has something happened to Madame Romansky? No, no, not at all. Our favorite diva's fine and dandy, but there's a package for you at the reception. I said to myself, I said, Felix, maybe she's got to have it before she goes. A package for me? But that's impossible. But it's got Miss Walker written on it, clear as day. Why didn't you tell me about it earlier? It's only just arrived, like. Oh, and, well, who delivered it? Um, I don't know. I just took my eye off reception for a moment. The game was on, you see, and, uh, and there it was, on the counter in reception. Uh, come and get it. Okay. Okay. How? Th Who knows I'm here except the mat- oh. It's probably that maniac that mailed me a fucking bomb, isn't it? Um, can we move? Do I really have to watch him go? That's it, Oscar. You turn away. You shouldn't see all of this. Hmm, a package. That's interesting. Not many people know that I'm here. And I don't think my boss or anyone from America could have sent it so quickly. Where is this package? Is it this one? Is it that one? Is it, it has to be that one? Did you open it? You bastard. It's an automaton mammoth. No! Oh. Oh, what now? Hello? What the hell are you up to, Kate? Mr. Marson, please, do try to understand. Understand? What I understand is this. One, our main client Attack. is ready to drop Attack. the whole caboodle Attack. if the deal isn't tied up in the next 24 hours. Two, this is going to cost the firm multi dineros. And three, I made a serious error of judgment trusting you with this case. That's what I understand. I know it doesn't look like it, but... Attack. No buts, Attack. Walker. Attack. You're looking for a senile old creek and you're making heavy weather of it. You know, he isn't as senile as all that. He's got this creative streak. Look, drop the mumbo-jumbo. I don't want excuses. I want... I've got to go, Mr. Marson. I think I'm onto something. Yes! Yes, go! That's exactly what I wanted to say. Yes! You tell him, Kate. Hang up that phone on that fucking bastard. And now let's pick up the other phone. My, we're popular. Hello, reception here. Felix Masana at your service. Uh, yes, ma'am. Yes, yes. Yes, she's right here in front of me, ma'am. Immediately. Please, be my guest. Uh, Miss Walker, Madame Romansky would like you to join her at the hotel bar as quickly as possible. I'm going. Yeah, no problem. I'd love to go to the bar. It's my favorite place. Maybe Madame Romansky wants another one of that special cocktail. Going to the bar. Getting one last drink. Or maybe not. I can't, no, I can't operate the bar anymore. That's sad. What do you want? Madame Romansky, you wanted to see me? There you are, my dear. I wanted to talk to you before you leave. I didn't want you to get the wrong idea. Despite our mishap in Konkosgrad, I'm very grateful to you. You helped me to forget my life here and this dead beach where I stroll up and down all day, getting more and more bored. So much the better. Time passes so quickly. One day you are at the peak of your glory. You think it is going to last forever. And then one day the bubble bursts and you are washed up and forgotten. Madame Romansky, don't be so gloom and doom. It doesn't suit you. And if there is no one left to help you out, you start to sink. 
sink into a long, dark winter. Perhaps you should rest now. We've had a trying time. It's been emotional. You must be tired. When I returned here, Hans gave me such a taste for life. He too was ill. Oh, he coughed. He must have spent too long at the factories, breathing in their smoke. And then he was better. And he left. And I stayed with my memories. Hans Vorarlberg? Hans Vorarlberg was so full of joy, so carefree. He was a little symbol of spirit, of course, as they say. He was a child. A child who made fantastic toys. I think that maybe I loved him. God alone knows where he is today. The plane with the hotel supplies has arrived. Maybe you should take a walk outside. I don't understand. I am old. I am tired. I have been very pleased to meet you, Kate Walker. Goodbye, James. Do look after Madame Romansky. That is all I ever do, miss. May fortune follow your every footstep. The snow is a good sign. Really? The snow chases the wind away and covers the salt and sand on the ground. The air becomes purer and still. Ideal conditions for a constitutional. Great. Thanks for everything, James. Ideal conditions for a constitutional, indeed. I guess that's a fancy lingo for let's go outside. Aw, I like Helena Romansky. I do hope she doesn't sink into that dark, deep, dark place. But that's what happens when, uh, when you're old and your glory days are way behind you. But what does she mean? Did she mean like the supplies have come here. Is I don't need to do that again. Oh, so I don't need the mask. Oh yeah, because the salt wind is gone because of the snow that just magically appeared suddenly. So did we get another package or something? <gasps> Who's that? Good morning, sir. Mr. Vorlberg? What? Hans Vorlberg? You've brought the train, then. That's good. We found him! Mr. Vorlberg, you have no idea how pleased I am to meet you at last. I'm Kate... Where is Anna? Your sister has passed away, Mr. Vorlberg. I am sorry. Truly sorry. Ah, okay. Otherwise, it's Anna who would have come, right? Not you. Yes. <laughs> I guess you're right, Mr. Vorlberg. My name's Kate Walker. I... Kate Walker? Okay, I'm going away on the train. A long way away. Where's that? That way. Siberia. Siberia. Uh, I'm sorry. Mr. Vorlberg, I've been ordered to tie up the buyout of your factory in Valadilen. It's, uh, my job, you understand. Anna told me. The automatons. That's over now, isn't it? Mr. Vorlberg, the factory belongs to you now, and I need your signature to tie up the deal. Okay. Then I'm going away on the train. Here's the sales contract. I'll give you some time to look it over. Your sister already agreed to the terms. All we need now is your signature. What? You've signed just like that? Without reading it? I can't read. I don't know how to. Oh. In that case, I'll read it for you. No, it's okay. Leave it. I've got to go away on the train, Kate Walker. As you wish, Mr. Varlberg. And let me wish you a very pleasant journey. Yes? Listen, Walker, I've decided to send over some backup. No need, Mr. Marson. What do you mean? Hans Varlberg has just signed. Everything's hunky-dory. Are you saying that... Yep. That Varlberg Manufacturing is now the exclusive property of the Universal Toy Company. But... 
that's great news. Good work, excellent work, Walker, a real masterstroke. I knew I could count on you, Kate. I congratulate you. Thank you, sir. Right, now get back here as quick as you can. I want those papers on my desk tomorrow. My secretary will organize a meeting with Universal Toys immediately. You'll no doubt want to hand over the contract yourself. And now that I think of it, I've got no one on the Schwann Airport case. Big trial coming up. A real opportunity. The job is yours. My little way of saying thank you, Kate Walker. You're too kind. You have a great career as a lawyer ahead of you, Kate. See you tomorrow. Well done again, and don't lose those papers, huh? Now that would be the dumbest thing. <laughs> sure. Real dumb. Grr. Real dumb. Kate Walker? Yes, Mr. Marlberg? Are you coming on the train too, Kate Walker? Uh, no. That really wasn't in the plan. But thanks for offering. This adventure's all over for me now, Mr. Varlberg. Too bad. Silly, really. You don't like adventure, do you? I don't really... I mean, maybe there's... <sighs> it's not easy to say. Come on, Kate. Yes? I have to go back to New York. They're waiting for me there, you understand? I understand. The plane. It's going to New York, too, maybe. Maybe. I suppose I'd better go find out. Yes. It's more sensible. Maybe. See you later, Kate Walker. Yes. See you later, Mr. Varlberg. No. We just found him, and we're throwing it away. Kate, think about this. Think about what you're going back to. Yes! I knew it! She wants adventure! Run, Kate! Run like the wind! You go, girl! Go catch that train! Go, 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 go! And that was it guys, that was the first game in the Siberia series. It felt so nice to play this after uh, quite a, a large number of years. I, I forgot how good it was. And uh, that, that, that finishing cutscene always like, mm, it pushes you forward to do whatever you want in your life and go for it and adventure and yay! But as usual, I've been the Zen Bear. If you liked this series, please leave a comment. I love reading them. I genuinely love receiving feedback from you guys. Leave a like. And also, would you guys like me to continue playing this series with Siberia 2? Because it only gets better. I will see you in the next Let's Play.